I want to show you pretty much three or four different styles of lettering. The first one I'm going to start with is, on, is script. One of the most common types of writing there is. Almost everybody asks for it. We're going to write a name like Jamie, okay? Now you're going to say, Tim, my handwriting isn't as nice as yours. Well, believe it or not, my handwriting in real life is not all that great either. But when you write with an airbrush, you're creating a product, and you need to think about keeping your letters uniform. Say, for example, if you're going to write the letter, two letters in the same word. It's like, say, say uh, two E's. Good word that both the E's should be relatively the same, all right? Because obviously you wouldn't want to do one of the E's this big and the next one that big, because that looks not professional. So you want to keep all your letters uniform. If you have two A's, two O's, two P's, two K's, whatever you use, you want to try to keep your small letters the same. Now, the different types of uh, capital letters, like, for example, I took this B, Reiterate the B and do two lines, all right? And I can enunciate that B with just a little bit of effort. I'm taking my thin and my wide lines, and I'm creating a more fancy letter. Um, I could sit here and write just about every letter of the alphabet, but I won't bore you. Now you're going, no, no, please do. I don't mind. But uh, I got to show you some more lettering in this thing. So, but I'll give you a little example of what I'm talking about. Now, if I, you could, you could, uh, these are all script. See the difference? But still, it would be underneath a script type of title. Next kind of lettering I'm going to show you is block lettering. Now, most people are going to say, they walk up to me and they go, I want you to do my name like that, but would you do it with bubble letters? I always say, well, I don't really do bubble letters, which is, by the way, something like, say, take the word beer. You would just actually round off all the letters like this. That would be bubble letters. What I do is I take and I do a more professional-looking letter, which is a block-stylized letter. That's why I call it henceforth block. And it's a little bit neater looking, a little more professional. Above all, when you're, when you're learning how to paint shirts, you want to try to look as professional as possible. When you look as ugly as I do, you've got to look professional. All right. The next kind of lettering I'm going to show you is called Pump. It is just a slash kind of lettering. And it's very simple and sort of like the graffiti guys would use in, on a wall. Same kind of word. And you can take that same kind of lettering and you can do you can do the bottom thinner. And you can do, you can have fun with this kind of lettering because it is a loose style of lettering. It's a, it's a lot more youthful oriented. A lot of kids like this kind of lettering. You can also break this up by doing this kind of lettering block style. So here you got three letterings. Next we're going to show you is a freehand beat scene with full color. Be back in a sec. Before I get started, I want to show you guys a system that I've uh, been using for quite some time here. It's called a multi-gun system. It's uh, basically a color on every airbrush. Because you have an, a color on every airbrush, it gives you a lot more speed. You don't have to change colors. You don't have to clean it out with cleaner. You can just pick it up and paint. 
And boy, let me tell you, that'll increase your speed like you wouldn't believe. Now, first thing you're going to ask me is, I see all those airbrushes. Isn't that going to make me have to spend more time cleaning them? Believe it or not, it's not going to. Because the airbrush is on the bottle right here, it does not uh, pull a vacuum and does not pull paint out through the airbrush, doesn't come back out through the hole. I have less problems with a multi-gun system than I ever did with just one gun. And not only that, I don't have to paint four or five shirts at a time for the same speed. Now I can just paint one shirt, finish it off, and go on to the next. So it, it really is handy. A little bit costly, but well worth your time. If you get to where you if you get to where you know what you're doing, you get all your exercises down, this will pay for itself in a couple of days. So, so you might want to think about this. The next thing I'm going to do for you is I'm going to paint you a freehand beach scene. That means no stencils, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to paint you a multicolor one using the multicon system. Now, as I'm painting this, I'm just doing straight, thin lines. I'm going to do a little bit of dye dose here at the, at the end of it to assimilate some water. Paint a little bit darker on the edge of the water here. Do some little fady lines. And I'm going to start doing just an oval. This is this is a a very general type of scene that's so common. So many things take on this shape. Put that down. Pick up purple and onward to some clouds. Don't have to change colors. Don't have to put any cleaner through the gun. Just pick it up and go. And you say, how are you doing that, Tim? Well, all I'm doing is this kind of thing right here, except I'm pulling farther away. When I pull farther away, it has that same result. Remember, you can have fun doing this. This can be a job, or it can be something that you just have a good time with. A lot of people come up to me and say, I don't want to do that for a living. Looks like it's too hard looking. I just want to do it for a hobby. Well, that's fine. But you can make a living out of it if you want to. There's, there's plenty enough demand out there for us.